NRF 24 L01 plus AT Tiny 85 connection tutorial. How are you doing? In this tutorial video, I will show you how to connect the NRF 24 L01 radio module to the AT Tiny 85 controller. At the same time, we will control the performance of the circuit and the sketch using the second radio module and the popular Wemos D1 mini controller based on ESP8266. Controllers from the AT Tiny line are interesting for their low price, as well as low current consumption. Therefore, it is possible to design cheap autonomous devices with radio communication and battery power. The connection diagram looks like this. Above is a pair of controller NRF24 transmitters. Below is a pair of controller NRF24, which refers to the receiver. The controllers are powered by USB ports. Pins MOSI, MISO and SCK are standard for the SPI bus of the presented controllers. And the CSN and CE pins of the radio module can be connected to any free logical pins of the controllers. And in the sketch, you can change their numbers accordingly. As you can see, for the AT Tiny 85 controller, everything is sad with the number of free remaining pins. It remains only one, and that one hangs on the output with the reset function. But on the internet you can find the NRF 24 L01 connection diagram with only three occupied pins, but we will not consider this option here. Also in the AT Tiny line you will find other controllers with a large number of pins. Now, to begin with, I will show the libraries that are used by my test sketches. We go into the library manager, and in the search field we type NRF24. and install the latest version of the RF24 library from Avamonder. I already have it installed. To work with a T-Tiny, go to the File, Preferences menu and in the URLs field paste the link to the AT-Tiny core, which I left under the video. Click OK. Next, you need to go to the Boards Manager and write AT Tiny in the search field. Next, you need to install the AT Tiny Core Software Kernel from Spence Conde, also the latest version. It allows you to program most AT Tiny controllers. The transmitter and receiver sketches here are the simplest. The AT Tiny 85 transmitter transmits two bytes with the digits 5 and 4 with a period of 1 second. The receiver waits for data and, when received, outputs both bytes to the port monitor. Let's see what controller settings are selected for the transmitter. DigiSpark AT Tiny 85 controller. Frequency 16 MHz. Upgrade via USB. Programmer select USB Tiny ISP Fast. I click Upload. The sketch compiles. Then the prompt, please plug in the device, appears on the command line. 
I connect my AT Tiny to a USB cord. The sketch is loaded. I connect the ESP8266 to the USB port. And I connect NRF24 to AT Tiny. The ESP8266 controller has the receiver program from the previous video. So I just select the COM port and start the port monitor. Wemos D1 Mini receives the expected 2 bytes about once per second. This means that our AT Tiny 85 made great friends with the NRF24 L01. Now I turn off AT Tiny and the data transfer stops. Reconnecting power to the AT Tiny 85 will resume radio transmission. Congratulations on the successful launch of the declared scheme in Sketch. I ordered 10 Arduino Nano boards from China today with NRF24 L01 on board. I want to launch a large radio network and try different options for communication between radio nodes. Write in the comments how interesting this topic is for you and see you later.